Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the Old Lady, and this is Earning My Spurs, Season 5, Episode 1 of this Fortaleza Save on FM 22. We're coming at you still from Brazil here, and let's get into it. I will start off by saying I'm still at Fortaleza. Okay, the reason for that is I realized that we are going to be eligible for the World Club Cup in June. And I thought, well, I can't mess out on the chance to go to the World Club Cup. How long, how often does that come along? So we're going to go to the World Club Cup. Whether that means we finish the season here or not, I don't know. After that's done, it will be silly season in Britain again. And so who knows what will come up. And we'll see what happens. Here we are on the transfers page. And this is the people who have left the club. Some of the people who have left the club. Uh, this year. Romarinho uh, has left the club. He's gone to Atletico Paranaense, or no, Goianiense. Very good. He's happy with where he is. They gave him a three-year deal. We wouldn't, so good for him. Uh, Ronald is on a free transfer, and Gustavo Continuo is also on a free transfer. Jose Carlos got picked up by Cascavel. Good. He's not very good. Galazinho, also not very good. Didn't get picked up by anybody, nor did Victor Hugo, who is Estonian now. He wasn't Estonian before. How did he become Estonian? Nationality Estonian. How did he become Estonian? That's wild. Well, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyway, next, uh, in the next season, Felipe left a little bit after them. Um, he wanted a contract that we just couldn't give him. And um, he's now with Palmeiras. They gave him a three-year deal. I'm not giving a three-year deal to a 31-year-old. It's just that simple. So, plus he wanted way too much money for what he's giving us at this age. All right, so that's out. Uh, we also had, let's go with the old transfers, we've also sold Jaime Barrero. <clears throat> he was he got the hump about broken promises or something about playing time and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, he's gone off to Pumas. Um, I wish him well. We got nearly $6 million for him, which is not too bad. I don't know what we paid for him initially. $2.9 million. So we made money on the deal. It's all good. Um, Bruno Melo also wanted to go, wanted a new challenge, so away he went. He's now with Remo. Um, as you can see, only signed Bruno Melo as a last resort. Yes. He's, he's still reasonably decent, and he's a good penalty taker. Um, you know, he bagged 11 goals for us last year. Ten of them are penalties. So, yeah, you know. Anyway, now let's have a look at the inns, because that's where things get fun and exciting. Um... So FM Cheater will now laugh because he has just sold Gerald, uh, Gerald Tavara, Tavara um, from his team in the same time. He was 25 years old, so he's actually just about a little bit behind me. Um, but we picked him up, <laughs> not directly from his team, but it was funny that literally I watched an episode yesterday in which FM Cheater got rid of this guy and we brought him in. So, there you go. He is pretty decent technically. Uh, I really like his technicals. They're quite impressive. His mentals are a little softer, but, you know, good enough. He's done very well for us so far. Uh, I'm very happy with him. Uh, Gabriel, a young player we got in from, where did we get him? Grêmio. Uh, another young player from Grêmio. We seem to steal a lot of their young players. Anyway, great determination. He's a perfectionist. Uh, got some good traits down here. So I'm really happy with this. I think he's going to develop into something really impressive. He's staying with the big team this year. Uh, and Mateus Nascimento, who is a decent strike partner for um, Gonzalez or Castro. He will give us a little bit of depth at forward, which is something we've needed. Both Castro and Gonzalez ended last year very much exhausted from the 
constant strain of, of playing all the time. So, um, yeah, I think that's three fairly good additions. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. Anybody else coming in? Yes, Yuri Alberto, a winger slash forward, is coming in. Look at the pace on this kid. Um, anyway, the reason that I bought an extra striker is that Walter Gonzalez has been kicking off all year. Um, I'll show you my dynamics page. Grigori wants a new deal to reflect his ability. All right, that's nice. Grigori is 31 years old. I'm not giving him a three-year deal. So that's the only thing he'll take. So he's not getting a contract. I'm not signing him to a three-year deal. So uh, same for Walter Gonzalez. He wants a three-year deal. I don't think that he's going to get a three-year deal. And um, that's life, you know? So he will probably leave at the end of the season, I will probably sell him now that I've got other goalkeeper, uh, other strikers in to replace him. So, so yes, that's the changes in the club. Um, there were a couple of others. A bunch of guys went out on loan. This Julio Cesar, Antonio Clasio, Silva has been doing very well at Chapecoense. Uh, Anderson Di Biagio got a little bit of money coming in for him. That's nice. So yeah, things are things are looking up. I'm pretty pretty happy with how things look. The Dev Center says we've got an average squad each way. Um, it did say a couple of days ago that we had a strong squad, but I promoted a couple of guys to the reserves. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to this season. I think it's going to be really excellent. So schedule so far. Let's see what we've done. What we've done. What we've done. What we've done. Well, we beat Red Bull in the Supercopa 5-1. Lost 2-1 in the first leg of the Recopa Sudamericana against Fluminense. But we managed to come back and beat them 3-1 in the other leg. So we win the Recopa Sudamericana as well as the Supercopa de Brazil. And then we go on to crush the Serense Serie A, including an 11-0 win at Icasa which was just mental. Peglo with a hat trick, Tavaro with a hat trick, Evandro with a hat trick, and Walter Gonzalez with a brace. <laughs> Three hat tricks and a brace in one game. Uh, two 10 point O's, which is awfully nice. Uh, Tavara had three goals and two assists in this game. So he was, he, this was, and I believe this was his um, debut. So it's, uh, it's pretty, Pretty impressive. Did he play before that? No. Seattle. Uh, oh, he did play before that. Okay, so he had been there before. But that's it. He's only played one game before that. Anyway, we got a nice easy group in the Copa Libertadores Group F. Uh, we have America de Cali, who's we're going to play today and Universitario from Peru and Barcelona from Ecuador. So no Brazilian team in the group stage this year. That's kind of a nice change. And uh, we've done very well. 11 goals, 4, 2 against, 4 wins, 4 tries. Uh, all kinds of happiness. And do do do. Goal scoring has been outrageous. Peglo, 12 goals and 8 assists in his first 12 games. Not too darn shabby. Not too darn shabby. He's turning into an incredible midfielder, uh, or a winger, I should say. And uh, I'm really enjoying having him. Who else? Everybody's been doing well. I'm really, really pleased with how things have been going. Um, anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get on with the game, shall we? Shall we get on with the game? Let's get on with the game. We're going to play America de Cali. And they want us to change everybody in the team, but we're not changing everybody in the team. We're going to change a few guys. Like you're coming out for Shalon. You're going in for Cabrera. You come out for Lucas de Vega. And 
Colombo goes in at uh, left back, left center back, yes. While Patrick William joins in, there we go. Uh, Roman at the one side, Cairo Pueno will have Alison Henry come in. He's our uh, youth prospect who has developed into a really impressive young wing back with incredible pace. And uh, he's off to a good start for us. I'm very happy with him. Um, yeah, he was out on loan last year and now he's back and doing very well. Uh, right side to there and Peglo to there. Four and a half stars now on Peglo. He's really coming along. And I think. Uh, we'll let Walter Gonzalez play this one. Uh, Guga into the lineup. Lucas Halter into the lineup. And that's going to do it. Oh, we're on a short bench today. That's fine. Let's go. Get on with the game. Okay. Shaylon out wide for Peglo. Finds Allison Henry into the box. Lucas De Vega keeps the ball. Oh, Peglo's shot is weak, but <laughs> Vasquez just spills it out into touch. That's a little weird. Allison Henry now on the right side, which is a little unusual for him. Who's the left back? There he is, more normally situated. Oh, nice ball for Evandro from Peglo, and it's in. Evandro with his seventh goal of the season. He's had two hat tricks. So <laughs> hopefully he'll get another one today. And it's a nice ball. Beautiful finish. All well done. Very, very nice. Let's keep going. Show me some more, boys. Not much going on. Here we go. Patrick William with his free kick now. Doesn't get it, but Colombo gets the rebound. Two now. Off the bar. Colombo with the easy tap in. Vasquez couldn't hold the ball. So maybe it wasn't off the bar. Maybe he saved it and spilled it again. Oh! Walter with the flick on header. Evandro with his second goal of the day. I said he might get a hat trick. He does have a bit of a habit in this area. He has, as you might say, got form. Alright, there's the first half done. XG looks good. Stats look good. Everything's happy. Let's bounce on. I'll be back in a moment. Let's go. We're back for the second half. Allison Henry puts one over the bar. Vasquez punts it down the field. We get control of it. Peglo now. Walter, through ball for Evandro, but there's the ball back. Walter now into the net, and it's going to be a goal. Fourth goal. His second of the game, wasn't it? No, Colombo had the other one. So that's his first of the game, but he did have an assist, so that's good. Nice ball. Perfectly timed. Great run. Well done. Well, I picked America the Cali because they would give us the most difficult game. Um, <laughs> hasn't worked out that way. 
Vasquez easily claims that free kick, poorly taken. And once again gives it back to us. Thank you. He's very kind, this goalkeeper. It's like, you know, he's thinking, we're at home. You guys have the ball. It's fair. You're the guests. There you go. There's Evandro's hat trick. I said he was going to get another hat trick, didn't I? Oh, gosh. That's three hat tricks he's got this year. <laughs> they don't score, but he scores in bunches. My goodness. Irrepressible Evandro for his ninth goal of the season. All of them in hat tricks. Very exciting. How's the team looking? Actually, we're looking pretty good. Nobody's too tired. And everybody's all kinds of fit. Now we got a couple of guys looking pretty tired. Uh, Ivanzo's had an amazing game. We'll let him come off for some applause. And then we'll just let it play out. There we go. 5-0 away win at America de Cali. My goodness. And they're going through with us. They qualified. Winning a good performance, that'll do for me. Very nice. Almost like this is what it's all about. There's the reward, blah, blah, blah. Execute our game plan. I'm very satisfied. Let's do this. Hurrah! So there you go. That's going to make an episode. We will be back. Ooh, baby. Where will we come back? Let's come back for our old buddy's Gremio. We'll come back for Gremio in the middle of May. And I have a suspicion that much of our June is going to get wiped out by the, um, by the World Club Cup. At least I hope it is. As far as I know, we should be making it. But I haven't seen anything saying when it is. Let's see. Yeah. That's the one. Scheduled on 18th May 2025, so another month, and is due to start on Monday 16th June. Does it say show qualified teams? No. Not yet. Stages? No. No, it doesn't tell us who's, who's going to be in it. Oh well, that's alright. That's all right. Evandro in top form. He certainly was. Superb in front of goal. Thank you very much. That's all I need. I hope that you have a great day. And take care. I'll see you next time.